Hey guys, welcome once again. Today we are going to continue from where we stopped the last time. And we still have Margaret with us. Hi, I hope you watched the previous video. Yes. If you've not done so, please go and watch it. Yes, yes, that reminds me. Please, if you have not watched the first video, please try and do so. You will enjoy it. You have a lot to learn from it. So guys, we are going to continue immediately. And we are going to start from our number eight question. We stopped at number seven on our last video. So number eight, Miss Margaret. Yeah. When do you feel most vulnerable in being a single? Hmm. <laughs> this question is so, so deep. <laughs> um, I'm someone who loves to communicate a lot. I'm someone who loves to express my feelings. I don't know how to hold something. And then after the day's struggle and bustle and meet someone, you could just download the details. Ah, this one happened in school, oh, that one happened there, and then you end up someone realizing. Someone to gossip. <laughs> you end up realizing that you are very single, like very capital letter single, and you'd be like, oh, God. Ah. And then when I see good marriages, yeah, I am someone who is family-oriented. When I see couples who are doing marriage the right way, I just have this like, ah, God. Sometimes I even cry. Like, I'm not crying out of, ah, I won't get it. I'm crying because of the joy I feel in my heart seeing it. Because when you have a good marriage, I feel it's heaven on earth for you. So I always, like, God, I want to have something like this. And then again, the third thing is I feel most vulnerable during rainy season. <laughs> if you know... You know, no. if you don't know, forget about it. Yeah, let me let me stop it there before my, my people will say I'm a spite child. <laughs> yes, so very important. Yes, very important. <laughs> okay, our next question is what do you wish people would stop asking you as a single? Don't ask me when am I going to get married. Don't ask me when am I bringing him. Mm. Do you even know if there is a him somewhere? Please <laughs> relax. When it's time for the marriage, you will get to know. But for now, take a chill pill, drink mm. cold water, and mind your business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once it is time, you will know. They don't know, hide definitely. it. It's a good news. Okay. You know, that brings me to even married women. You know, there are some funny, funny questions people ask them. Yeah, some people asking, ah, where is your, where is your stomach still flat? When are we coming to celebrate baby? Uh, your raw powder. When are we coming to rub powder? All those funny, funny questions are not necessary. At all. Seriously, it's not. No, that's something I've learned. I've learned to find the kind of question or the kind of greetings I give to people, especially if you're a married woman. If I don't really know much about you, whether you have a child or not, I can only tell you, oh, greet your husband. Because I don't know whether, if yeah. I tell you greet your, your children, children whether, mm -hmm, I don't know whether you have one. So and if I don't, will not understand that you course, don't, you don't of know. Of course, they may think that you want to mock them. So instead of you offending someone, so it's better you say, uh -huh, just say, greet your husband, my regards to your husband. Because I know you have husband. Of course. <laughs> so unless it's on end there. You know, just hear some people asking some funny, funny questions. Why would you ask somebody, why is the stomach still flat? Is it necessary? Hmm. Ah, please. You should avoid such questions. It's really annoying. Very, very annoying. Seriously. Yeah. So the next question, how often do you celebrate yourself as a single? As much as I can, mm. as much as possible. Even if, especially with suya, ah, I don't miss it. <laughs> if you're a Nigerian, you know what suya means, roasted cow meat by the roadside. I don't joke with it. I celebrate myself to the available finance I have. I don't really go extra, but the little I can do for myself. So that I won't end up disgracing someone when I go out. Because I've not had some things for some mm, time. time. When a guy say, okay, let's sit out on a date. I order pizza, order shawarma, order... Mm -mm, I can't, no, 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 no. I celebrate myself as often as possible. Yes, yes, have. that's very, very necessary. Please celebrate yourself. Give yourself a treat. Go out there and enjoy yourself. You mustn't go out for a date before you enjoy yourself. So, as a single, once in a while, just take yourself out. Just go, go out there and give yourself a treat. Take whatever you feel like, whatever you are craving for. Just go out there and do that. Have fun. It's not a crime. Seriously, it's not a crime. Just celebrate yourself. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Not for you to wait for a guy. 
There are some to persons that out. are actually waiting. Like, yes. if you check, they will take me out, take me out, until a guy finally agrees to take you out. That is where you are. And that is why you want to eat everything <laughs> in this world. That's why they leave them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. the whole story that trended yes. like that. Yes. Guys yes. leaving ladies at the restaurant mm. and saying they stick it to the <laughs> toilet and leave them behind their head. You know, I saw this, I watched this particular video on social media. About this particular lady, this guy took her out on a date. This girl ordered a, a fat. It was up to, I think, 20 something thousand naira. For a date. And this guy, yes, this guy said that he wasn't going to pay. As in this one, he didn't even excuse her to maybe let me use it. To be shy. Me. Is it? No, the guy boldly told her, I'm not paying for this. That's why, in fact, the guy eventually entered his house, his uh, vehicle. vehicle. And, and this girl was begging, as in, and do you know the funny aspect of it? The guy was actually taking the video as in why she was begging. As in, but then I she wanted the... for something she would yes, not pay yes, for. Yes. Ah. That's why I always advise ladies, please, if you are going on a date, order for what you can pay for. In case if anything happens, and if the guy said that he wasn't decide. going to pay. <laughs> Son of man decided on his great. At least you have something that you can... Even some, transport. Some people, yes, yeah, some ladies will go without transport. She's transport to go back Nothing. home. <laughs> And then when the guy tells you to follow him home, you say no. And then he says he will not give you transport, he becomes stranded. If you know you don't want to follow him to this house, so prepare yourself oh, before trans- going. <laughs> prepare yourself before going. Sorry, we don't mean to offend yeah. you. We are just... That's the reality. That's the reality. No, we're taking it easy. <laughs> we don't mean to offend you. You don't mind us. We don't know what we are doing. <laughs> so the next question, do you believe that true love still exists? Yes, 120 times. Yes, mm. God is love, and because He said marriage is honorable, I believe that true love still exists. Yeah, yeah, it still exists. Yes. Okay, the next question As a single lady, can you tell us things that turn it off from a sister? <laughs> Do you want to hear the truth? Nothing but the truth. <laughs> okay, number one, I hate death, like dirty. I don't know how. I can't pretend. I will start. I can literally start crying. Whether it's mouth odor, body odor, any kind of odor available in the market, please, <laughs> please help us now. How can you be a young single man and you can't you can't take care of yourself? Oh. That means invariably our house will turn to the house then of a, a big spend. Because Seriously, some guys will pass you like this. You, you, you can't breathe. You won't be able to. Breathe. And you're coming to tell me you love me. Ah. <laughs> Please, I, I I don't have anything to do with the desi guy. Number two, I don't like men that are loud. Loud for no cause. What I mean by loud is just unnecessary speech. Why in a vehicle, in a public transport, or in a place, you're just the one that is talking, 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 talking. You, you just... I Not even necessary with, things. With that, uh, unnecessary. Mean, you see a lady walk past. You are, and some men are so vulgar. Yeah, yeah. They say anything, anywhere. Yeah, say in a, in a public transfer, anywhere. You don't see this one. Look at her. This look at. Come on, have some courtesy. You don't just open your mouth and vomit. However, you can think it in your head, but please don't just open your mouth and and, and talk anyhow. The third one, I do not love crowd men. I can't. I can't deal with it. You are you are an undergraduate or you're not a graduate. You are an apprentice. Whatever level qualification. Please, just be honest. Yeah. Why would you lie to me that you are a graduate and you are not? Who are you trying to mm-hmm. impress? That's the yeah. Aspect. Why would you drive your friend's car and you tell me it's your own? You even have two others that you packed. Fake life. Fake life. I, I can't deal with that. Then the last one, mama's boy. <laughs> An undecisive <laughs> fellow. My mommy said... Please, Stefa, Stefa. My mommy said... <laughs> How can a full grown adult, full bearded? My mommy said I can't marry you. Like my mother <laughs> said, you are fair. Yes, uh, she, she loves black you are, women. You are, like, you are <laughs> I don't get it. I can't date oh. a mama's boy. An undecisive man that can't yeah. stand and make decision. You're you're going to be my husband. You're going to lead me. So if you can't decide for yourself, am I the one or is it the family? No, I, I can't deal with that. You know, a lot of men are like that. They, in fact. They allow their mom to make every decision about them. In fact, to the point that their mom will even be the one to tell them when to have the next baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> their mom will be the one to tell them when their wife should travel mm. and when she shouldn't travel, travel. When she should do this and do that. How much you should drop yeah. for? for that's that's really funny, seriously. That's funny. 
a lot of them are out there. You think you see them, you know, Look look so mature thing. physically, you think that that is how they have their they but let them just open, open their, their mouths. Mouth. One you conversation like this, you would know. <laughs> you know, I, I, I am on Facebook and there is a post I read, I think two or three days ago, where a lady, she, of course, anonymously wrote that she went out and then the husband was at home, only for her to come back and get to her kitchen wanting to eat to discover that her bowl of egusi soup was missing. That the sister in law came to the house went to her kitchen, opened her diffuser, and took the bowl of soup. Went to Not even to dish it out. Of went to where the, the bag of rice is, and she halved the, the rice and took it to the other. And she's also married. Can and you imagine? I was like, you mean your husband was there? So only for her to ask the man, what, where, how come the food is missing? The man said, eh, my sister took it. Am I not the one bringing the money? Why are you angry? Oh, your audacity for me. Can you imagine? You are telling me you are you not the one providing the money. Then you you are at home. You allow your sister to enter my the my truth kitchen. Is that some you know young ladies can't or some women can can take out their the dishes. That's just the truth. Would she tolerate that? If she if, if she was the in the table was to be yes, turned around. Yes, yes. That's the funny aspect of it. No, some in laws can be very funny. Very 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 funny. very funny. Forgetting and that you were sister in law. Yes somebody. yes. And if he eventually marries this kind of mommy boys, mommy's <laughs> mommy boy, <laughs> anywhere you want to put is annoying. <laughs> if you marry such a man, in fact, hmm, what you will see in that marriage, it will just be both, uh, both the mother and the sisters controlling your marriage for you. They will be there in their houses telling the man what to do. And that is very, very dangerous. Very and that bad. is why you see that some men, women will be in their houses Maybe because of a little misunderstanding between them and their husband, the sister-in-laws are coming to, to fight to, her. To, yes. Because the man just, in fact, the man just exposed you to them. No respect, no regard, nothing. They can talk to you anyhow. They can come inside and do whatever they want. I know the Bible said a man yeah. will leave his, his father, father and mother. As a man will have refused. And so they are disobedient to the word of God. This <laughs> is the person. Change. <laughs> Ebeka. Change. To be see change. <laughs> to be see. <laughs> Yes, we are, we are here for you. Change. Leave your father's no, house. Your leave your father's and leave to your wife. And become one. Yes, but you yes. say no. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. Interesting. So, Margaret, please, what's your final word for the singles out there? Mm. Just two things I would like to leave with you. Number one, you are okay. Yeah. Don't make anybody feel, make you feel that, sorry, that if you are not married, you have a problem. You are fine. You are you are okay. Number two, do not be desperate. See, men know ladies that are desperate. Of course. They see it in of your course. reaction, the way you, you you how can a man just say I want to marry you? You are, you, are, you are living you are living you are giving him about you. Uh, 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 ah. Please. You are the prize. The Bible says he that finds a wife finds, finds a, a good, good thing. thing. Number one, you are a good thing. Number two, an obtained it, favor. Yes. So you are the one that has something to bring. You should even be making that just as if I have money to give, yes. to, give to somebody yes. now. The person should even be the one coming after me because I have what I want yeah. to give. Don't make it look as if he's the man that is not doing a favor by, yes, by, marrying. by marrying you. So please just take that from me. Yes, yes. That's very good. So you need to also Go for your goals and your dreams. Don't wait for Don't any man to life. come before you continue your life or before you find your life. No, have a life first before marriage comes, which is going to be a kind of addition to you. How did so you have a say? life first. How did you Not get here that ladies just... Just fold their arms and wait for marriage. <laughs> like, I think that is where their whole life that, depends. It's starting and the, the, ah. No, please, just have a life first. Then marriage can come later. So guys, thank you very much. And I know that you have enjoyed these videos. I'm 100% sure of that. So guys, please, one thing you need to do for me is this. Share this video to your contacts, to your friends, even your enemies. <laughs> they will learn a lot yeah. from it. Thank you very much for your time. And Margaret, please, can you say bye? Bye, guys. Bye. So, guys, thank you very much once again. See you on my next video. See you soon. Bye.